In this section, I'm going to be looking at differential equations. Now, I'm going to be approaching this assuming that you have met all of the differential equations work in A-level maths. So everything to do with separation of variables, uh, forming differential equations, all of that side you have already done. Okay, so, so there isn't any kind of replication here. So that we can get straight in and start looking at more first order differential equations then build on to second order differential equations. Now part of this video I also want to introduce you to a little bit of notation um, so that you are kind of fully versed in what to expect. So what I expect you to have met so far our differential equations, the basic ones that you would have met in the first year of A-level maths, things like dy by dx is equal to some function of x. Okay, so they're the first year differential equations where you just integrate both sides to get y is equal to something plus c. Then in the second year, most likely, um, but full A-level material anyway, uh, you will have met dy by dx is equal to some function of x times uh, some function of y, and use separation of variables to integrate that, to find uh, y. Now, what we're going to be looking at uh, in this first section is we're going to be keeping on with first-order differential equations. Um, and we're going to introduce the term linear, so a linear differential equation. What that means is that uh, we only have uh, y or dy by dx as part of it. So rather than having y squared or all of dy by dx all squared, now that's different to d2y by dx squared. Okay, so what I'm saying here is that we're not allowed to have that or that, okay, so we can't have either of those in a linear first order differential equation. We're going to be looking uh, at ones that aren't separable, um, which can be written in the form of dy by dx, uh, plus, this is how they're generally written, some function of x times y is equal to some other function of x. So, this is a first order differential equation because the highest uh, derivative that you have in here is 1 dy by dx. There's no d2y by dx squared involved. Okay, uh, if that was the highest one that we had, then that would be a second order differential equation. It's linear because you don't have dy by dx all squared. You just have dy by dx and you also have just have y here rather than a y squared or anything else. And so that's the form that we will be considering in this first section. Okay. Other bits of notation that you should be aware of is that uh, you may see uh, that dy by dx is abbreviated to y prime. Um, so d2y by dx squared would be y double prime or double dash, okay? So that is um, one thing that you might see um, in uh, textbooks and exam papers. You may also see uh, things like uh, dx by dt abbreviated to x with a dot at the top, okay? So uh, when you differentiate with respect to t, usually um, in context time, uh, this is often abbreviated as x dot. So if you wanted d2x by dt squared, this would be x double dot, okay? And, you know, you can have dy by dt if you like, so y, the dot. Okay, so there are a few bits of notation here that you won't have met 
in A Level Maths to consider. Um, and this is what we're going to push on towards uh, to consider and see how we can integrate um, and solve differential equations of this form.